coming back or thanks for staying with us. Um, we've had a lot going on here today. We've talked about some foil transfers, um, bags, shoes, and definitely print cut technology. And we'll kind of take it all into one here with reinventing names and numbers. Um, team names and numbers have definitely evolved over the last three to five years. And we're starting to see it much more prevalent with this year's college teams and their trends. Number one thing that we're seeing changing from starters has always been the uniforms. So team uniforms, most importantly, um, we're starting to see a lot of stretch fabrics incorporated into a lot of the designs. So um, from your number one 100% polyester jersey, now we're seeing things where the seams are in and the pads are all in um, a couple different places on the jersey somewhere where they were in the past. Um, there's cooling areas that are put down the sides all to mimic distractions for the players while they're playing. Another thing about some of the fabrics that we've seen, just to get started here, is definitely stretch fabrics. So we've been talking about this a lot today, and you'll be seeing it a lot around the show. Um, stretch fabrics are, are not going away anytime soon. This shirt here is actually more of a hybrid. It's 100% um, or 95% cotton and has a little bit of stretch in it as well. So with these fabrics, we have a lot more different um, challenges as decorators to decorate them. On top of that, we're seeing trends change for names and numbers. We typically always saw two colors. So you'd have a red background, a white top, no problem. You want gray and blue for your colors, your colors are gray and blue. But what about now with foil trends and more metallics, we're starting to see um, them brought in with the reflective elements. Another thing, um, unless you're hidden under a rock, you've probably noticed with college sports how patterns have been brought in this year. Um, I know the Maryland uniforms created a huge buzz. Oregon's always brought a lot of buzz on with their uh, carbon fiber on their uniforms. Um, and again, with more of the, the Michigan this past weekend, big rival game, and Adidas even brought in their best for those uniforms and sublimated some twill, which we'll show you guys here in the presentations. Going too fast. Um, one of the main ways that we can do uniforms with CAD cut, um, in the CAD cut technology, I actually have a video to show you how it works. Basically, what you do um, is you have a single roll of material, and you load it into your vinyl cutter, which we have here in the Roland. So basically, I would just take my material, as we'll see here in the video, load it into the back of my vinyl cutter, um, send my design that I would create in my Corel Draw or Adobe Illustrator to my cut software, which always comes with my cutter. And then from there, I would go ahead and um, take the time to cut my design, and we'll see here how the process works. There we go. So basically we're just cutting out our name and number design here and for this I'm using thermofilm which you'll see in our first design that we're going to decorate here in a minute. Um, that's our most basic film so if you're looking for something durable and something quick and easy to use on team uniforms this is definitely what we recommend. Um, you'll notice it says a recommended downforce. All heat transfer materials have a certain downforce um, that they should be cut on on your vinyl cutter depending on the blade. So for this we recommend I think 120 to 160 depending on the newness of your blade. If you've been using your blade for a while, it's going to be dull, so you'd have to kind of up your force a little bit. Here we're just going to do a weeding process. So if you're not familiar with the cat cut process, basically we're just taking the excess material and peeling it away from our name and number. This will create our transfer. So for, for CAD cut materials, this will all be single color. So my first color would be white. If I wanted to add a second color to it, I would have to then go through this uh, process over again with my second color. And then again, at the heat press, I'll heat press them separately. Just to give you a quick idea of how quick thermofilm is to heat press, we'll go through this step as well. Um, the heat application for thermofilm is uh, 330 degrees for eight seconds. We also have a two color application for this type of material that we'll show you here in a minute that makes names and numbers much easier as well. Again, that's a medium pressure typically with this type of material as well. So 
so hot peel so it makes it quick and easy it's about 10 seconds for a one color application if you were doing a name and number with thermofilm um, some of the other trends we're seeing with um, CAD cut if we can go back to our uh, PowerPoint is basically um, the two color names and numbers always been a traditional and will stay traditional um, just adding in some different texture effects with that as well Some of the other trends we're seeing with CAD cut is adding in two color effects, so things that are like um, a carbon fiber, like on the Oregon jerseys, uh, 210. Our technical difficulties are, uh, are struggling us today. Uh, Mesh-like patterns as well, if you guys have any. Um, typically, it looks more or less like a mesh on the jersey, so we have an airflow material that comes pre-perforated, so you won't have to weed out the little circles. Really great for uniforms that are already you know, breathable or lightweight, since it has stretch as well. Um, so we'll look at those, some reflective numbers. I know that foil effects are definitely big, so we're going to see how you can, durab in a durable way, incorporate them into your team uniforms. And then the addition of neon colors, colors as well is really a, a great way to kind of jazz up some uniforms. First, we're going to look at the two-tone patterns. So like I said, we're seeing a lot of texture added in a minimal way for, for names and numbers. So if you're looking you know, to take your, your high school teams into more of these, you know, proactive approaches or if they're coming to you saying, we want to change it up a little bit, but we don't want the rules to kind of get in the way. Um, so this is just a, an easy way to add in some two-tone effects to this. And Oregon did a great job, um, or Nike did a great job with the Oregon uniforms this year um, and adding it in with the neon colors on a dark uniform. You're seeing a lot of different tones and it's a different way to bring it in. So we'll just show you how to heat press it real quick and how quick and easy this two color will be. The nice thing about this fusion press is that I'm actually going to be able to completely thread uh, my jersey. So I know some of you might be worried thinking um, with these mesh holes, how do you heat press? Um, this will be able to separate the layers for me, so I'll be able to easily not have to worry about that. If you have a style type of like, type like this um, clam press here, two things you could do um, is you could use a Teflon pillow like this one here that come in a large array of sizes and that will separate your two layers so you're able to heat press without heat pressing through to the other side or the adhesive getting on the other side. Another way is you could also use a Teflon sheet in the middle. So it's a cover sheet um, similar to this one here. I lost it on my way over here. Um, but it's a Teflon sheet so just basically what's on the pillow. Lay that in between there you won't have any, any problems with pressure or anything like that as well. Let's go ahead and do a quick preheat. change my time a little bit. Um, every heat transfer material has its own time, temperature, and pressure. Do a quick preheat. And then this thermofilm has a two color application, so for something like this, I'm actually going to be able to um, heat press it for only two seconds for the first tack, and then I can increase my temperature and time on my second hit. getting caught up here. So this is garbage. And then we have one color already done. My second color, again, this is the carbon fiber material just cut on the vinyl cutter and weighted. I'll lay this down over my 87. When you're registering two colors, um, if you're not familiar with this process, you definitely just kind of have to eyeball it a little bit. This one will actually be a 10 to 15 seconds. So I'll do it more in the 15, basically because I shortened the uh, application on my first one. I want to make sure that the heat will go through the full layer. So as you can see, using carbon fiber like this, and we'll pass around the jersey in, the, in a few minutes, you're going to see a lot of different dimensions almost in this garment just by adding it underneath the lights in different shades. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit more of a uh, matte finish on the top of the carbon fiber. Just by adding the craft paper. Okay, you guys can kind of hear that when I pulled it up over off of that heat press. And that again is just what would have went through in my jersey if I hadn't separated it either with the fusion platen 
um, by threading it or again putting something in between. So here you can see um, I've already decorated the front for you guys so I cheated a little bit. Um, but we have a two color name and number, thermofilm on the back so it's nice and durable. And then the uh, two color effect on the, as well. Again with the breathable numbers, another way to, to really kind of add to those stretchable, breathable, um, hybrid type uniforms that we're already seeing is just to put a name and number on them that is breathable as well. Um, so we have a material that's hold, it's called um, Airflow. Give you an idea here of what it looks like. It comes completely like this on the roll. You would just cut it out in the vinyl cutter, weed away your design, um, and then you can heat press it. So all the air will be able to pass through these just like the name of the material. And um, it's really good for stretch as well, so anything like that. Um, I'm going to mix it here as well to give you a design element with it. Use it for two different ways. And I'm going to add it with a reflective here in our next um, demonstration. Reflective numbers um, are a great way to add those metallic foil looks by just um, putting them behind a different one for the outline and giving you a durable application. So for this, we're going to use what's called a 3M reflective CAD cut material. Um, and this is just what our most durable material. You use this typically on police uniforms or EMS, but there's a lot of other uh, reflective materials that you could choose to use as well. We have a fashion reflect that has a couple different colors. You could easily put that on any volleyball uniforms or track or anything like that as well. I'm actually putting this on a uh, basketball stretch jersey. But if you wanted to use this on something like a football jersey, it definitely would give you a great um, under the lights effect for those Friday night football games. Go ahead and use my top layer to line it up a little bit so I know exactly where I'm putting it down here on my jersey. Of course, you always want it as center as possible, but I don't have a guide right now, so. 15 seconds, I'll do it to 330 degrees. 3M Reflective actually has a little bit of a flexible application, so I could do this anywhere between 325 and 350 degrees as well, if my other material allowed for a different temperature. Let this cool down for a second. And again, this is garbage, and I'll go ahead and rethread my shirt for my second layer. This one's only going to take about 10 seconds on the airflow, so I'm going to go ahead and pop it a little bit early. And then it's a hot peel. So the hot peels are nice. The thermofilm, the airflow for athletic jerseys. When you're doing you know, 15, 20, 30 different jerseys and you just want to get them out the door quick, it's nice to have those two color applications, that are, or the hot peels that are easy to use as well. Go ahead and pass that around for you guys to see the difference between using something like this metallic, these reflective materials versus a typical gray. Um, you really can't pass up the shine and everything that you get and you're able to present to your customers with that. More of a... Um, I would say an upgraded version than divinyl cutting is the print cut technology. So if you're around earlier this morning, you got to see um, hands-on basically how the print cut technology works. We do have a quick video that I'll walk you through with the print cut technology. Um, it shows you basically the workflow of how it goes. When I say this is more of an upgraded technology, instead of being able to just do two colors, two different steps, with the print cut technology, you're able to print it all in one single layer. So using a solvent printer and the CMYK inks, you're able to um, just print on a digital media. All the medias can, can uh, like the vinyl cutting and the heat applied materials, they all accommodate different fabrics as well. We got a little better on this one here. <laughs> so basically what we're doing on our, on our uh, solvent printer, like the one we have here in the Versacam, is just print out our design. Um, and this is actually, I mean, a multicolored design. There's gradients and everything in the one that we're actually printing on the printer cutter. So you're able to see how much more you can accommodate with this type of technology. Since it's integrated, this actually is pulling it back through and recuts the material as well. Just like the vinyl, same workflow. We're going to weed away our designs. And then we'll use a masking, uh, a mask material to kind of create our transfer. Just like the vinyl, go through and pick out any cavities that you might have. 
And if you're not willing to um, you know, do this all yourself or you don't want to invest yet in the printer cutter technology, you're not sure, you're not 100% sold, we do have a CAD prints um, service that we do offer where you can send us your artwork, you can send us your names and numbers, and we'd be happy to, to do them for you and send you the transfers. So basically, once you're able to mask them, we can just put our, put our designs back up onto the uh, paper that the mask came off of just to be able to heat press them easily for us. Show you a quick application here with the uh, express print, which is what we're going to be showing you here um, live. I'll go ahead and pass this around. This is one we did this morning, so give you an idea of just different uh, effects you can get with print cut technology here. Do we have any questions while I'm moving along on CAD cut process or the print cut so far? That's a, a good question. Um, he's asking about the different temperatures and different times for the CAD cut materials. So basically, um, the thermofilm was eight seconds. Each one of our heat ply materials come with a set application instruction. So thermofilm is actually our quickest, um, the two second for the for first color, or eight seconds for the second one. For something like that breathable material or the um, the reflective, the reflective was more like 15 seconds and then the breathable one was 10 seconds. So you always want to just check um, whether it be the catalog that we have or online on our website, we always have the application instructions as well for every different material. Want to go back? So basically what I did is, um, before we left the office, I printed this on our express print digital media. Um, and then we just did the, the same process you saw here on the video. And we're seeing with print cut a lot of the different technologies. This here I just took a lightning pattern and put it into my number. But you could also do things like the mascots or maybe the team logo um, or even digital prints on twill. If you want to use a poly twill or a sim stitch or something like that, you could obviously press the digital media onto the twill and then put it onto the garment. And that's how we're seeing a lot of the new trends, especially on um, these type of medias on the twill as well. Still keeping it pretty old school with new school at the same time. Like in the beginning, so I just bought a plotter. So how deep do I think you mentioned something about how deep you set your blade? Right. What it is, it's a downforce for CAD cut materials, um, going back to the vinyl cutting process, and even with the print cut, whenever you're cutting, um, all materials have a recommended downforce that you want to cut at. So you'll, know, you'll get to know that a thinner material basically cuts to something more like a 70 to 100 grams of force. Um, and that's all completely adjustable on your, on your vinyl cutter. So this here on the Roland, um, you basically would just change it on the force. Yeah. Typically, it's um, about 80 to 100 for the thin materials. Um, some of the thicker materials, you'll see more around you know, 180 to 200. Usually like 180 to 200. It just depends. Um, we always give that with our application instructions, the same as the heat application. We have the downforce for any vinyl or any heat applied materials. You guys can keep asking questions. I'm just going to go ahead and heat press this real quick. Again, I'll preheat. Yeah, I was just going to... Well, we could probably answer it too. Courtney, we have a question. Does the reflective and the breathable numbers come in packs? They don't come in packs. Um, the reflective numbers we do can tell like custom cut, but we typically just do the vinyl cut, the cat cut materials. Again, this express print's nice. It's a hot peel, so I can quickly just peel it. Um, and now we have a multicolor name and number here on the front and the back. I know I got a little bit USA here with us, patriotic. Um, but you see how quick and easy it is just to do a multicolor name and number, um, something with a design, something with that logo. What? 
the Roland Versicam, um, we actually are in Printables Warehouse Division. They're here at the show. They sell them, but we typically, it starts around 15000 um, for that, that size cutter. They do have a 20-inch cutter that's around 8000 and then depending on what you want to do, um, capacity-wise, it can go up from there as well. It's just a large range. There's a lot um, you can do with the, the print cut machine as well. The next thing I want to show you guys is actually the sublimated numbers on um, twill. So basically, um, this is where we're seeing a lot of patterns, like I said, coming onto the poly twill and onto um, different materials. If you don't have a, an embroidery machine, we do have a service, a product called SimStitch. Um, and basically what it is, is it's a poly twill with a permanent adhesive onto the back and a stitch that's been simulated into it. So um, you're able to heat press it without worrying about fraying um, because it's been laser cut and you don't have to worry about it coming up or, or falling off because of the permanent adhesive. So I've actually done these at the office, but just to show you the way the process works, I have printed um, on a piece of sublimation paper on my sublimating printer. Um, we printed out the design, which is kind of like a waterfall type of water drop effect. And then this here is just my uh, sim stitch material. So I think I might have some I can pass around for you guys to check out how it looks prior to let's pass that around prior to to sublimating or anything like that. Um, if you're ever going to sublimate a number, you want to make sure to put down. Um, something to protect your heat press. So I'm going to put some craft paper down because you're going to see this will bleed. Um, what I'm going to do is put my number down, uh, preheat, preheat it for a few seconds, reset my thing. Um, this is actually going to be 60 seconds, so we can ask some questions. We can talk um, about sublimated twill here in a moment. Press this down. It's going to be at 60 seconds. With this type of process, um, yes, it's just with a sublimated printer that we're going to print, it's going to be able to transfer these inks. Um, one other way is, again, with the digital prints where you could, you know, print it out on the, on the Versa camera on your printer cutter and then press it onto the twill and then press the twill onto the jersey. So that's another way you can definitely get the, the prints onto the twill. And you can see here I've already done my numbers at the office that we're going to be actually whoop, heat pressing here. Um, so how, how quick and easy it was just to get that off. I hope they don't mind. I ruined some craft paper here. You could. Um, because this is going to ruin it, I would highly recommend using craft paper because it's much more inexpensive. So you can see here, um, I've lost a lot of the vibrancy in this print. Like I said, that craft paper has definitely been ruined. Um, but I'll pull my sublimated number off here for you guys to see how easy that was. You can see this is, is now garbage, but I definitely protected my heat press platen, so that's all I really need. Um, my little sticky there still till it dries. So that took me about a minute to go ahead and do my twill. If you wanted to go ahead and do all your numbers and then go back to your jerseys, it'd probably be the easiest way. Basically, then I'll take those sim, the sim stitch numbers that have been sublimated. And I'm going to heat press them for uh, 30 seconds here. cover sheet. Definitely want to make sure I use a cover sheet on this one. I know with a lot of the CAD cut materials and things with the carrier, I was kind of being um, over under cautious, I guess. Um, I wasn't using them, but definitely will help protect this. Um, those sublimated inks would definitely transfer onto this, and they would transfer on the top of your heat press as well. Go ahead and pass this around for you guys to be able to see just how the, the different uh, material kind of came off here on the top. knocked a shirt off there. So you can see, like I said, that would definitely come off onto your um, your heat press platen. So you want to use some craft paper. I would recommend the craft paper. It's much more inexpensive than a lot of the other color sh cover sheets. So if you're just going to end up ruining them, throwing them away, you can kind of see there. 
You'll notice a little bit of the red came off as well on my uh, cover sheet. Um, this jersey, you might want to be careful using some different materials. I'm not worried about any bleeding or anything through this poly twill um, at all with the thickness of it. So if you guys want to pass that around and kind of see how the, the numbers feel and how they look on there. Um, again, this is no embroidery. It's all just been heat pressed, so it's very easy to do if you don't have the machinery. Another thing we're seeing a lot um, with, with soccer jerseys and other uniforms is definitely using um, logos into the numbers. There's two different ways you can do this. One is definitely sticking with the print, techno print cut technology. You could definitely import a logo or a design into the number, no problem. Um, customize it any way you like if you have those capabilities. Or like I said, our CAD print service, we definitely do that as well if you would just send us the artwork. Um, another way to do it is with a screen printed transfer. So these were just ordered from Sc Transfer Express. Um, very easy to apply, very easy to, to get into order. Um, and this just has a small logo on the front of it here. And basically something like this um, is a little bit more uh, softer feel to it than some of the print cut. Just a different way to, of getting the screen printed transfers rather than the digital transfers like the print cut. Something like this again, 365 degrees. For four seconds, so it's going to be even quicker for a screen printed transfer like this. And numbers are really easy. Names and numbers both are very easy with screen printed transfers and with Transfer Express service. You can see, um, I mean, I basically, they would send me the number and in four seconds I have my number on my jersey. It would take a minimal, I mean, it would take seconds to finish with a screen printed transfer as well. So just a different way of getting it onto the t-shirt with a different technology. So we have screen printed transfers, print cut technology, and CAD cut materials as well. Um, the last one we're going to talk about is accommodating the stretch fabrics. So we have a couple of different materials that are available. Um, if you were here earlier today, you got to see this print cut media, which is our Solutions Opaque on a performance wear t-shirt. You can see the stretch we're able to get just by using this different digital media on our VersaCam. Go ahead and pass this around for you guys to check out. A lot of fabrics like this aren't able to be accommodated with anything other than, than heat printing. Um, so basically I have here a stretch volleyball jersey. Same type of deal, very stretchable. Um, and this material is actually our new, our Premium Plus. And it has a fast application as well. So I'm very lucky to be able to, to do this quickly on this volleyball jersey and still have it be pretty durable. Load my jersey onto the, the uh, heat press. Do a quick preheat. Since this is more of a, of a sensitive stretch fabric, I do want to go ahead and cover. I'm trying to think if I wasted all my craft paper already. I do want to use a small cover sheet just to cover my um, performance wear. I always recommend anytime you're doing anything that could be very, very much of a technical fabric or anything that could be burned, cover a little bit. Um, Premium Plus actually has a flexible application, so if you are here earlier, you might have got to see it applied um, at 280 degrees. It also goes up to 350. I have it at 305, 330 right now, so I'm going to go ahead and just heat press it. Um, the, app, the application normally is 300 degrees, which would be really great for any type of sensitive fabrics. Quick preheat. I'll do my first color. So that's it. Again, a hot peel, so it makes it very easy for me to be able to do that first color. If I can find my second color here. Yes, it is. See, when you get to be the, to the later part of the day, there's been a lot of extra transfers and paper and all those goodies around. Cover that again, do another hit. And with this, I chose just to do a quick two color name and number just to show you, you know, how the stretch fabrics work. Um, but you could absolutely um, use neon colors on something like this. And you always want to, I know that the rules are going to start to change coming up with some of the high school teams. So you always want to just take a look at your state and, you know, the National Federation and make sure. Um, but as of, as of now, the uniforms are very lenient. So give it some time to cool down on the front there before you start stretching. But uh, this one is actually...
pretty stretchable and has a nice matte finish as well on this CAD cut material. So again, quick and easy, works on all these stretch fabrics. So premium plus if you've got a vinyl cutter, if you're looking into doing CAD cut two color. Um, if you want to get in the print cut technology for stretch fabrics, I absolutely recommend our Solutions Opaque material.